Hey guys, welcome to the Game and Party channel. So we are going to be playing Wingspan tonight. Uh, I am Mike Davis. I'm Jesse Davis. Wes Stover. And I'm Jimmy Habib. All right, and these are my friends and my wife. We are going to be playing Wingspan, which is an awesome new game by Stonemaier Games. And this game is a, a one to five player game at ages 10 and up, plays in 40 to 70 minutes. Uh, I played it a couple times, it usually takes about an hour or so to play it. It's a beautiful game with lots of awesome components in here. I'm going to teach it to my friends here, and then we're going to play the game and show you how it works. All right, so this is what, welcome to Wingspan. Uh, we're going to be collecting birds and putting them into your aviary here. And your aviary has three locations. You've got a wooded area, the wetlands, and you, in the middle here you have the plains. All right, so three different areas here. And we've got a large deck of many, many birds. I think it's 170 cards in here, all different birds. All right, and each bird has different traits on them. They have different uh, nest types, different, amount of, different food they take, and different locations that they go into on your board. All right, and the object of the game is to score the most points uh, and uh, to win. And you get points by a couple ways. On the bird cards, there's actually points in the, on the, each bird card. That bird's worth three points right there. That one's worth three also. There's one that one's worth nine points right there. Uh, the ones that are more points are harder to get out because this one takes more food. So that one takes two worms and a grain, wheat, a grain or wheat to get out there. Yep, and this one takes just two wheat. This one can only go into the grasslands or the wooded area. And this one can go into all three of them. This one can only go into the grasslands area. So uh, it depends on what symbols are up in the top right corner of what those birds can do. How versatile. Yep, exactly. Also, each bird has a brown section here. And this is an activated section. So when you take a turn, once you have a bird out, uh, the, any, anything, any bird you have in that row will also activate too. So each bird has its own things that they do. Some activate when you play them. Some them activate. So the brown ones activate on the turn itself. Uh, and then some don't have any activations at all. Some of them don't have any kind of things showing at all there. All right. So, so that's something you got. We got to remember to keep up with. Like, yeah. Oh, you you just put one in the water. I get a I get an egg or yeah. I get a food. I get a fish. Exactly. Yeah. Some of them actually will play. Yeah. Exactly. Plays off to the other person. So it says that every time somebody does this, you get something. And it's also the opposite too. Every time you do something, everybody else gets something else. So you just have to be cognizant of what those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. So the birds do have different activities. We'll, okay. we'll go over those as they come up. All right, so on your turn, uh, we're, we're going to shuffle up. We're going to give each other five bird cards here, uh, and there will be three that will show here. Um, and you're also going to get some secret objectives. So we've got two. Uh, you'll get two of these, and these are things like have the most birds with um, a certain type of power or have the most birds with a uh, certain type of nest, you know, things like that. And those give you bonus points at the end. You'll get two of these. You'll get to keep one. All right, so the way you take your turn is with these little action cubes here. So you start out with eight action cubes, and you'll take one of these and place it on your board to select the action you want, and then it goes around the table, and we keep doing that until we're all out of action cubes. Okay. The top thing you can do here on your board is play a bird. That's the very top section of the board here. So if I place it right here at the top, I can now play a bird, and I play a bird by just basically taking one from my hand, paying the cost of whatever that bird is. For, for example, here, this one is uh, two worms and a wheat here. I, have to, I can put that bird out into either... The, in, this one, in this case here, the forest or the wetland area, and it goes in that spot, uh, and I just pay the food. Uh, if you put a bird out after that to, a, to the right of it now, you'll notice there's a picture of an egg here. You'll mm -hmm. need to spend an egg to put out that bird, any in that row, or that column, actually. Okay. And then the same thing with the next one. It costs another egg. The next one is two eggs, two eggs, uh, and that's it. So uh, you also notice over to the left over here, uh, it's, where it says play a bird, it's got the two the, the little pinwheels there. Mm -hmm. Those pinwheels represent any of the uh, foods that are here. So you can trade any two foods for one other food. So, for example, if I need a worm, but I've got a fish and a mouse, I can trade in a fish and a mouse for a worm, right? or any other two combination. Are so these, Are these eggs... Apply for the for the lower for yep. the other regions as well. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So if I play a bird down here, I've got to pay an egg to put a bird down there. Yep. Okay. But you always play in the in the first, in the most left handed side. Ex yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So you always play to the left first, and then after that, you can put more birds out. Okay. All right. So that's the first thing you do is, is play a bird. The next thing you can do is gain food. And what you do when you gain food is you'll put your cube on the little tree there, and you'll do whatever the action is on that one. So the first one is basically just grabbing a food out of the birdhouse here. So we've got this beautiful birdhouse here, and uh, this is awesome. I love this little thing right here. So this birdhouse comes with these dice here. Uh, Jimmy, you're going to be our birdhouse roller since you're over there, okay? And basically, you're going to put the dice in the back of the birdhouse here like this. And that come out like that as our 
I love this little thing. So you'll be our birdhouse holder there. And uh, so we get food. And when you so when you select the option to get a food, you basically pick one of the dice out of there. So I say I want this grain right here. I just take it out, and then I take one of the grains and I keep that, and I have a grain now. So, we, so at the start of a round, we would we would before we designate any cubes, Jimmy would roll those dice, mm -hmm. and then whoever is going in whatever order is picking yep. from that preference. And you know, so if there's if there's only one grain, and you t and the first player takes a grain, and nobody else gets grain. Not not quite. Okay. So. Um, it, we're going to roll it at the very beginning of the game mm -hmm. first, and then afterwards, if it ever gets down to where there's only one type of food showing, you have the option to re-roll on your turn. Oh, okay. So, for example, right now we've got two fish, a mouse, and a, a cherry in there, right? Or berries in there, right? If I if I take a cherry, right, and now it comes to Jesse's turn, she's got a mouse and two fish. If I take the mouse. If she takes the mouse, then it, when it comes to your turn, you, you, you take food, you have the option to re-roll. Okay. Because there's two fish left in there. Are you only re-rolling those two or no, all five? all of them. Okay. Roll them if you take the fish, though, now goes to gotcha. Jim, now it would go to Jimmy's turn, and Jimmy takes food, he doesn't have a chance to re-roll now. It would, now, is that re-roll considered your turn? No, no, it's just if you do the take food action. Okay. Then you you and have the you option. only have you, one choice of food you can read. Absolutely, yep. okay. that's exactly what it is. Okay, all right. So the next food item over here to the right of that is uh, the same thing. You can take one food, but then you can also discard a card to take a second one. So you, if you've got a bird in your hand, you're like, okay, I'm just not going to use this bird. You can discard it. We'll have a discard pile over here. Uh, you just do that, and you get to take a second. Uh, do you also have there. to play, pay an egg to nope. use that? No, that nope. only applies when playing. That birds. only applies when you okay. yes, when you put a cube up here at the top to play okay. a bird, right? Gotcha. All right, and like I mentioned before, if you have birds that have activation things on them, so they're going to go down in order. So let's say I've got one bird here and maybe a second bird here that has an activation on it, uh, like this, something like that. When I do that now, basically after I've done, after I've completed this action here, which this is taking two food here, now I'm going to move this cube down and do that action there when activated. Move it down here, do the activate, and then it comes off, and you're done. And that's basically the end of your turn at that point. Okay, so that's uh, that's how you. That's the basic concept of a turn. Uh, so let's go through the rest of these. So yeah, this is this is one food. This is another food. Plus you can trade a card in. This is two food. This is two food. You can trade a card in. This is three food. And then if you get all the fill up with birds, then the last one here is three food, and you can trade one in uh, to get a uh, fourth one. Oh, okay, nice. All right. All right, the next one is lay eggs. So you'll need eggs in this game. There'll be things that'll say, spin an egg to do this. Or, or, or of course, you'll need eggs to get birds out of here. But there'll also be some activation things that say, when activated, spin an egg to do this. You know, so that, birds will be very, uh, eggs are very uh, uh, important in this game. It's kind of a currency that you're going to be using in the game. So if I pick the first option here, I just get two eggs. Those eggs do not have to go on any particular bird. I can put them on whatever bird I want, as long as I don't exceed the nest size of the bird. And you can tell the nest size because it's got a picture of the eggs here. So this is a uh, bird that can hold up to five eggs, and this is a bird that can hold up to two eggs. They also have different types of nests. There's a bowl nest, and I forget the name of that nest there, but there's there's different types of nests in the game that you can uh, that you can use. Um, it's a twig nest. Yeah, so that, so that one must have a decent power since it's worth zero points at the end. What's its power? Uh, it can hold five eggs, okay. and then when activated, lay one egg on this bird. Okay. So this is like just free eggs every time you do that gotcha. or that row. Yeah, this is a, this is a good one. But so that's yeah, a good what, one to get up front. Yeah, exactly. So the morning dove is actually a really good one to have if you want to get a bunch of eggs out. He's not going to give any points, but he's going to keep churning eggs out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's to lay eggs. The next thing here, you can do two, get two eggs, and you can spend any one food to get a third egg. And then next is three eggs, and the next three eggs, plus you can spend food, and next is four eggs, and then if you fill all those up, the last one is four eggs, plus you can spend a food to get a fifth egg if you want to. All right. Last thing here is the water area. All right, so if I pick the water area, I get a card. So basically, I just draw a card. Uh, we're using this tray here. This has the uh, this is a nice little tray came with the game. So you have three places to pick, uh, or actually four or five places to pick card cards from. You can pick from these uh, three birds that will be shown up here. There'll be three displayed that you can take from. Uh, and there'll also be the two stacks here you can take from either one of those. Uh, I'm not, the rules probably say just to have one draw pile, but I'm not worried about it. We can draw from either one. It doesn't okay. matter. And so those are the locations you can draw birds from. Uh, the next one is draw uh, a bird. Or sorry, draw a, a bird card, and you can spend an egg to draw another one. So you can get two cards, and then two cards, and then two cards. So you use an egg to get a third one, three cards, and then three cards to get, uh, and then a bird egg to get a fourth one. Right. So okay. goes up the line there. They're all pretty much the same in terms of like the uh, progression of how yeah. to get more and more powerful. Okay. All right. Any questions? All right. Nope. Yeah. Number one rule: Do not eat the eggs. 
All right. Uh, they look, so uh, I know. It looks so good. Do not eat the eggs. I feel, like, I feel like Jesse needs to be painting like Easter designs on all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's a, as soon as I saw these eggs, I thought Easter too. That would be awesome. <laughs> I got to do a uh, little, uh, little bunnies on them. There you go. <laughs> we will then score the round. Uh, and there is a bonus for each round. So these are randomly. I just threw these out here. This is saying uh, the person with the most birds that have that type of nest, that's a stick nest or whatever, twig nest, and with an egg on it, also has to have an egg on it, wins the round, and we'll go here in first place, and that's four points in the game. Uh, if you tie, then you go in the same spot. Uh, and then second place to go here, third place gets nothing, and fourth place gets nothing, okay? So that is the, uh, the so this is the two. So if you tie, do you split, or do you each get four? You, you, you both, uh, you um, you add up the score from, so first let's say let's say two go here, first place and second place go there, third place goes here, then you would add up uh, this, the whatever's in these two spots here and divide it. So this is so rounding up or rounding down? Rounding down. Yep. Five, so, so you get five, two. so you get two and two, exactly, right? Uh, so in this, so you can actually plan ahead and just say, okay, I'm, I'm probably not going to get this because I don't have six birds. I'm going to go for this one down here. You can just go up, plan for rounds ahead of time if you want to also. So the next one is just the most total birds. The next one is uh, eggs in the water area, the most eggs in the water area. And this is the most birds in the tree area. Okay. So those are the uh, the, the bonuses there. And the, uh, the in-game scoring works like this. There's a couple things. First of all, you score your birds. That's the points that are actually on the cards themselves. Next thing you score is the bonus cards. That's your, bon your two that you, know, you have, the, the one that you keep. Plus, you may get extra bonus cards in the game because there's some birds that will give you extra bonus cards. And then you have uh, end-of-round goals. That's these goals here. That's whatever score you got on those. And then eggs. Every egg that you have is going to get you one point. Uh, for any food that's on a card, some of the birds will say, do something and put a food on the card like this. And so the food will set on there. So the bird kind of stores up food. For any food you have on the card, those are worth one point each also. And then tucked cards. There are some birds that will, say, tuck a bird under this like that. And uh, there's two ways that it happens. One, it's because it's a uh, uh, flocking and it's getting other birds to be in its flock, right? Uh, the other way is, is there's actual birds that are hunter birds that eat other birds. And so it's kind of, it's kind of I guess, the food is eating goes under there. And each, each tucked card is worth one point also. Okay. So there you go. So that <coughs> is... Can I put that card back in here? I'm going to do my best. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So look at your uh, your bonus cards. Figure out what you want to keep. Oh, and uh, toss it back over. So uh, we may make a mistake, mistake playing this game. You know, this is the way it goes uh, when we're playing these games. So if I've uh, said something wrong in the rules, please let me know in the comments below. You can rip me apart down there. And I will try to uh, be better next time. But Just rip gently, please. <laughs> YouTube doesn't do that. Yeah, YouTube never makes bad comments. No, <laughs> they never make bad comments about people. All right, I'm going to keep this one here. And get rid of that one. All right. All right. So now your birds you have. So the, your birds that you want to keep. I know you're looking at your hand like, well, I want to keep all these birds. But here's the way it works. We're all going to get uh, one of each of these um, resources or food. And then for every bird you keep, you have to give up one of those. Uh, okay. Yes. So everybody gets one of these. So one cherry, one worm, one wheat, one mouse, and one fish. Okay. And now you decide how many birds you want to keep. And for every bird that you keep, you have to give up one of those resources. Or one, a resource. Uh, so I'm going to... All right, guys. So that's our how to play for Wingspan. If you want to check out our playthrough, we do a video of that too. Check out our channel. We'll have a link in the description. We hope you enjoyed this, and we hope to see you on another video. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, how about give us a like and maybe subscribe. If you have an idea for a video for us to do in the future, we'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.